Example, we come to conferences, we all come to great seminars, workshops, we hear great speakers, we read great books. I'm sure all of us have read a great book. And then you go, what do I do with it? Ah. And so today, my goal is to help teach you guys some best practice systems that uh, we've implemented at companies all across the country, whether it's in the aviation industry or the franchise industry or the medical industry, things that work. And I'm hoping that everybody can walk away today with at least two or three action steps that you can immediately apply in your business when you get home. We have to determine that we're going to live before we die. Principle one, you have to live before you die, meaning that you have to write on a piece of paper right now, go for it, what are some things that you definitely want to get done this year? I mean, as the company gets bigger, there's this fallacy that says, once I get big, I'm going to start managing like Sam Walton. You know, once I get big, I'm going to manage like Hobby Lobby. But I will tell you, having met the people who are at the bottom and they meet them at the top, they've been doing it the same way they do it now since the bottom. That's how they got there. I would encourage you, though, to create situations in your own office where you create your own adversity. If you make a sales goal that's intense, will there be some adversity there? But you're going to have to find a new way. I mean, if you're like, hell or high water, you know, our Canadian truck company will grow by 20% this year. Let's do it. What does that mean? Every week we need to hit these numbers. That means our sale, we have to make 20% more sales calls or 20% more efficiency or whatever. If you create that little fire, it creates some adversity, but that's what's gonna force that growth. But we have to have this attitudinal quotient where we're comparing ourselves with Winston Churchill. Compare yourself to Walt Disney. Compare yourself to Thomas Edison. Compare yourself to Churchill. Don't compare yourself with the average person next to you. Because the average person does not have the emotional quotient needed to be successful.